A quote attributed to Charles Spurgeon, a 19th century English preacher, reads as follows. The church is faulty, but that is no excuse for your not joining it if you are the Lord's. I vigorously disagree with saying that the church is faulty since in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 18, Jesus says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Since the church is built by Jesus, I believe then that it cannot be anything less than perfect. What is not perfect, and to what I believe Spurgeon was referring, is we, the people of the church. We misinterpret scripture, use scripture out of context, and outrightly disobey the law of the scripture. Congregations have been built around these abominations of the scripture, and many of Jesus' flock are, at best, lost, or worse, can no longer see the right path. I think that we need to use better nomenclature to keep separate that made by Jesus and that made by man. The church, made by Jesus for us, is the Christian faith that we should all strive to adhere to, knowing that we will never get it right. Our meeting houses are the buildings where we gather to worship the Lord and we are the people of the church. That being said, we should understand that we are in church every moment of every day, not just when we are in a building on Sunday. We should now see everyone that we encounter through a biblical lens as fellow congregants rather than merely other humans or, as some do, combatants. Think about how nice the world would be if we treated everyone every day the same way we treat our fellow worshipers on Sunday. Even if those that currently attend services were the only ones to make this paradigm shift, I have to think that peace would reign. So remember when you go out into the world that you are always in church. Every building you enter is a place of worship. Every chair you sit in is a pew. And everyone you meet was created in God's image.